the altar of burnt offering. Build an altar of acacia wood, three cubits high. It is to be square, five cubits long and five cubits wide. Make a horn at each of the four corners so that the horns and the altar are of one piece and overlay the altar with bronze. Make all its utensils of bronze, its pots to remove the ashes and its shovels, sprinkling bowls, meat forks and fire pans. Make a grating for it, a bronze network and make a bronze ring at each of the four corners of the network. Put it under the ledge of the altar so that it is halfway up the altar. Make poles of acacia wood for the altar and overlay them with bronze. The poles are to be inserted into the ring so they will be on two sides of the altar when it is carried. Make the altar hollow out of boards. It is to be made just as you were shown on the mountain. So again, all this is attention to detail and God was showing Moses exactly how the, the uh, tabernacle was to be built and how, how it was to be laid out as well as on the inside, as well as what to use and what it's supposed to look like. All these are very, very detailed. Now, um, I don't believe myself as to be a carpenter or somebody that can build something. So it's, do you, do you know of someone that's like that? Are you yourself one? Um, by giving, getting instructions, would you be able to put together something? Well, we will learn that the Holy Spirit provides, God provides. And so there were people that were going to be able to do this. So it wasn't just going to be on one person. All of these instructions and the building of the tabernacle weren't just going to be on one person. It was going to be several people of Israel, the family of, of the family, the family of God. And so that's what we should can take into consideration today, that it's not just one of us um, because we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. And so we should all do our part. We should all want to do our part and we should seek wisdom. We should uh, ask the Holy Spirit to help us to find out what our part is. The courtyard. Make a courtyard for the tabernacle. The south side shall be a hundred cubits long and is to have curtains of fine, uh, finely twisted linen with 20 posts and 20 bronze bases and with silver hooks and bands on the posts. The north side shall also be a hundred cubits long and is to have curtains with 20 posts and 20 bronze bases and with silver hooks and bands on the posts. The west end of the courtyard shall be 50 cubits wide and have curtains with 10 posts and 10 bases. On the east end toward the sunrise, the courtyard shall also be 50 cubits wide. Curtains 15 cubits long are to be on one side of the entrance with three posts and three bases and curtains 15 cubits long are to be on the other side with three posts and three bases. For the entrance to the courtyard, provide a curtain 20 cubits long of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen, the work of an embroiderer with four posts and four bases. All the posts around the courtyard are to have silver bands and hooks and bronze bases. The courtyard shall be a hundred cubits long and 50 cubits wide with curtains of finely twisted linen, five cubits high and with bronze bases. All the other articles used in the service of the tabernacle, whatever their function, including all the tent pegs for it and those for the courtyard are to be of bronze. As we continue to read through here, I want to get some more understanding of the tabernacle. So the tabernacle is very detailed in its instructions. Another reason why it has to be so detailed in these instructions on how how to build it, what materials to use, um, how to make it, etc., is the reason because Israel at this time was moving from place to place. 